In order to continue our examination of the validity of evidence, let's turn our attention to some quantitative data that has been measured. In this case, the speed of a car. The most common way this is measured is by an in-car speedometer. However, the police service make use of a device known as a LiDAR. The speed of a moving vehicle can be displayed immediately by the LiDAR. Clearly, the validity of the data collected and the reliability of the LiDAR devices must be beyond question. But what do we really mean when we use the terms like reliability and validity? An instrument is considered reliable if the same result is obtained from using it on repeated occasions. For example, a ruler is a reliable measure of length. Measurement reliability is not just the property of the instrument, but also how it is used. Situational reliability is the conditions under which the measurements are made. The data collected from the instrument is considered valid if it consistently and accurately measures what it is intended to measure, namely the speed of a vehicle. The meaning and relationship among reliability and validity can be clarified through the metaphor of a target. Here you are hitting the target consistently, but you are missing the centre of the target. That is, you are consistently and systematically measuring the wrong value. We say the results are reliable, but not valid. That is, it's consistent but wrong. The second shows hits that are randomly spread across the target. You seldom hit the centre of the target, but, on average, you are getting the right measurement for the group. In this case, you get a valid group estimate, but you are inconsistent. Here you can clearly see that reliability is directly related to the variability of your measure. Hits are spread across the target and are consistently missing the centre. These results are neither reliable nor valid. You consistently hit the centre of the target like a marksman. Your measure is both reliable and valid. We often think of reliability and validity as separate ideas, but in fact they're related to each other.